No matter if you are a new big rig, commercial truck driver operator, or if you've been on the road all your adult life and all your documents and inspection paperwork are always in order, and no matter how many safety awards you've won, sooner or later you'll receive an invitation you can't readily turn down, that of a level one roadside inspection. This could be a random stop by a state trooper or a specific roadside inspection set up by commercial enforcement officers. Or it could happen at the scales, where minor non-compliance triggers a full Level 1 compliance inspection. A Level 1 Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration, or FMCSA, inspection includes a detailed inspection of the vehicle, the driver's status, record, hours driven documentation, and the load on the vehicle. The Roadside Inspection Program consists of roadside inspections performed by qualified safety inspectors who follow the North American Standard Guidelines, which were developed by the Commercial Vehicle Safety Alliance, often called the CVSA, in cooperation with the FMCSA. Most roadside inspections conducted by the states are conducted under the Motor Carrier Safety Assistance Program, or MCSAP, which is a grant program administered by the FMCSA. There are five individual inspection levels including a vehicle component, a driver component, or both. For now, let's take a look at the comprehensive level one inspection. Inspections are an important part of trucking safety because we know that trucks can pick up defects that may or may not be noticed by the vehicle operator. Most of these defects can and should be detected, but let's face it, we're not all perfect. Then too, there are defects that occur on the road without the driver's knowledge. If these are caught during a roadside inspection, then tragedy will have been averted further down the road. A roadside inspection occurs when an MCSAP inspector conducts an examination of individual commercial motor vehicles and drivers to determine if they are in compliance with the Federal Motor Carrier Safety Regulations and or Hazardous Materials Regulations or HMRS. Serious violations result in the issuance of driver or vehicle out of service orders. These violations must be corrected before the effective driver or vehicle can return to service. Moving violations may also be recorded in conjunction with a roadside inspection. In order to successfully pass the Level 1 Comprehensive Roadside Inspection, there is a partnership between the driver operator and the employee owner of the equipment. The vehicle in its entirety must be maintained to the strict safe mechanical standards set forth by the DOT and other federal and state agencies. There is also the necessity for the employer or self-employer to ensure the quality, medical condition, and training of the employee driver operator. Drivers must be held to strict standards and disciplined when necessary to ensure that the company is in compliance with the myriad of statutes and regulations under which it falls. Now let us see just what the components of a Level 1 roadside inspection include with a brief explanation of each component. This is an inspection that includes examination of driver's license. A check, both visual and electronic, can be made to ensure that the license is in date and it is the proper class for the type of vehicle and load being hauled. It can check for violations, warrants, accident history, and be an indicator of prior drug alcohol history along with any suspension or revocation history. Medical examiner's certificate and waiver where applicable. A check of the medical certificate and associated paperwork will tell the inspector if the driver has an up-to-date DOT approved and mandated physical exam and if anything is waived and the reason for that waiver. Part of the medical paperwork will show the results of any recent random or specific substance abuse testing. Random substance abuse alcohol testing is mandated in a program by DOT whereby 35 percent of all drivers in a company are tested annually for substance abuse and 25 percent of drivers in a company are tested for alcohol abuse through random drawing which is normally conducted by a third party such as the medical clinic which will conduct the actual testing these records initiated and compiled by the driver show where and when the driver has been on a particular trip inspection of this important documentation compiled by the driver while on the road 
shows hours behind the wheel and hours of rest. There are stringent DOT regulations governing hours of service. These regulations are one of the most intentionally and flagrantly violated sections of required paperwork and compliance found during Level 1 inspections. This is both a system condition and use inspection. If the driver was observed not wearing his seat belt or harness assembly, this violation could result in a separate citation. The seat belt system and components, such as non-use warning light and audible alarm, are inspected for functionality and availability for the driver and any co-driver in the passenger seat. A check is made of all vehicle inspection reports paperwork for thoroughness, completeness, and comparing all items found out of spec to repairs or replacements made in a timely manner. A thorough inspection of all brake systems and components is always conducted in this area as this area is one that generates the most violation citations of the entire inspection process. Brake control actuation devices in the cab are inspected as are all brake hoses, valves, linkages, pads, rotors, drums, and disconnect hardware. Compressed air tanks are checked for faulty valves, gauges, and hydrostatic test date as they are considered pressure vessels. A thorough inspection of all fifth wheel and trailer hitching devices is conducted to assure there is not any out of compliance wear on these components which could lead to inadvertent trailer breakaway, an unintentional separation of the tractor from trailer, or in the case of doubles, a separation of one trailer from the other. Careful scrutiny is given the exhaust system. Faulty exhaust systems provide potentially poisonous leaks to the cab, chemical pollution to the atmosphere, and noise pollution to the surrounding area. Exhaust leaks at the exhaust manifold will lead to less than efficient engine operation and lead to excessive fuel consumption and poor mileage. Torque related to load pulling will almost always be affected as well. The frames of the pulling component or tractor and the pulled component or trailer will be inspected for fatigue and corrosion. Welded areas, as well as any damaged areas, will be reviewed to ensure integrity and safety of these components. The fuel system itself containing a hazardous and flammable substance is always of great interest to the roadside inspector. It should be extremely important to the driver on his or her daily safety inspection. Component integrity is especially important from the fuel tank to fuel lines, fuel filters, and to the mixing source component, the carburetor or fuel injectors. Leaks, spills, and engine fires are the consequences of ignored fuel system inspections. Whether you're hauling an enclosed trailer, flatbed, or dump box, a roadside inspector is going to pay special attention to safe loading. Safe loading extends to tarping loads, which can be redistributed by winds or other weather factors. Proper distribution of weight over the weight-bearing axles is paramount to safe travel. The use of proper and adequate tie-downs and proper tie-down materials in compliant condition is extremely important to guard against load shift and load loss. Overall attention to net and gross weight parameters and limitations will assure safe delivery of your load and no hassle at inspection points or scales on this issue. Steering and driving safety are synonymous. Any problem with steering your vehicle will sooner, if not later, lead to a serious mishap on the road. Some of the steering components inspected during a level one inspection are steering wheel centering, steering linkage components, checking power steering fluid for contamination and level, front end alignment, wheel balance and tire pressure. Tire tread may be inspected in addition to the spare tire you're carrying. The spare must be within compliance as it may be substituted for any of the running tires. The steering gearbox and transmission may be checked for leaks or excessive wear of its components. Suspension components are another critical area of a big rig or other commercial heavy truck. Due to the weight of the tractor and the heavy loads carried by the pulled components, items such as shock absorbers, struts, spring assemblies, and subcomponents are part of the inspection process. 
included in the suspension inspection can be the wheel assemblies and tires as they do assist in holding up the vehicle. Many of these components wear gradually over a period of time and a driver can overlook one or more of these items during his or her daily safety inspection of the vehicle. Critical or terminal wear of these components can occur between scheduled maintenance inspections as they can be in proper specification at one inspection and out of spec at the next. Tires are considered part of the suspension system and are so important that they stand alone on the Level 1 roadside inspection checklist. Numerous items such as overall condition, illegal repairs, tire size, tire type, and inflation pressures are all given the once over by any roadside inspector. Again, these components, although being parts of other systems, have a standalone section on the Level 1 roadside inspection checklist. Generally inspected along with the tires, wheels and rims are checked for roundness. The rims are checked for sharp edges or dents that could impede the integrity of the air seal with the tire bead. The air valves are checked for leaks and for the use of valve caps to keep dirt and contamination out of the valve assembly. Each wheel is checked for cracks and other defects. Windshields, also commonly known as wind screens, are inspected for cracks, excessive pitting, seal integrity, or any other obstruction that could cause a driver's view of the road to be impeded or obstructed. Side windows and mirrors are also inspected. Windshield wiper blades are one of the most overlooked components on a commercial vehicle. To a passing glance during a daily inspection, they are there, they look good, so they're okay. Not necessarily so. The defective windshield wiper is usually discovered when the driver hits inclement weather after a long dry spell or faces a component inspection of these items during the roadside inspection. Wiper blades should be changed regularly. Lighting, especially during hours of darkness, inclement weather, and in emergency situations, is one of the most important systems of components on your entire vehicle. With lighting, switches, buses, fuses, light bulbs, lamp reflectors, and lamp caps or covers are some of the main components that are inspected. Emergency lamps are a major indicator of your position. They indicate slow speeds or stopped and signal warnings to other vehicle operators. The emergency blinker lamps must be in proper working order at all times. Backup lamps are equally important because they denote intention for a change of normal direction. Tail lamps must be in proper working order to inform other drivers to your rear that, in fact, there is another vehicle in front of them and how close in proximity. Running lamps outline the length, width, and height of your vehicle components, further enhancing your profile to other drivers around you. License plate lamps are mandatory in all state vehicle codes and properly working, which display your license plate for scrutiny. Turn signal lamps are also mandatory equipment on all commercial vehicles in all 50 states. They must function properly to alert traffic beside you and to the rear of your intention to turn left or right when safe to do so. Headlamps are the main forward lighting components on a commercial vehicle. Both high and low beams and the switching device in the cab must be functioning properly. As with any other bulb lamp malfunction, Always check your fuse panel first for a simple fix. Lamps on protruding loads are particularly important as they're in place to instruct drivers around you of an odd or unusually wider profile to your vehicle component than is generally the norm. Remember, illuminate, be seen, and be safe.